Well, get ready for takeoff because the hit show Manifest is making return flight for its final season. Life is turbulent for Michaela Stone, played by Melissa Roxburgh, as she tries to support her brother and piece together the mystery of Flight 828. Take a look. You still have two children who are here now, and they need their father. You still have your dad. You still have me, and I'm sorry, I'm not going to let you give up on us to chase a pipe dream. Oh, don't call it that. Ben, I'm tired of walking on eggshells around you. I have tried to give you space. I have tried to captain the lifeboat. I didn't ask you to. You didn't give me a choice. You left me alone. And I understood I still do, but I'm now trying to save every other passenger that is on that plane. And Melissa is with us now. Welcome back. Good to see you. Good to see you too. Thanks for having me. It's good to have you. And and you know, season three finale left us with. I mean, it was a lot of shocking twists, turns. Yeah. Um, where does season four pick up? Well, thankfully, we didn't have to end at season three because I feel like I personally would have been really, really angry so as well. So many people would so have been people. so angry. But um, thanks to the fans, we got picked up at Netflix and we got to finish the entire story in 20 episodes. So we jump back into season four. We've obviously lost one of our key players, uh, Grace. She she died tragically at the end of season three. Yeah. So as you saw, uh, as you saw there, you saw Ben really grieving. And um, there's just been like a split between the Stone siblings because now Michaela has had to pick up all of the pieces on her own there's still this huge mystery that is unsolved yeah and she has to kind of do it all on her own now and so there's tension there's you know um, they want to find out where Eden went they want to find out all of these things including what happened to the plane and and Ben's kind of off on his grief spiral so she's he is on a grief spiral yes, that, I wouldn't, I, that's the perfect way to describe yeah, it yeah uh, but like you said there's 20 episodes which is great because you know you kind of get to wrap everything up and the series will have a conclusion when you read how it ended were you surprised were you, you know happy what? with with a show like this it is so complex that there's no good like in theory there's no good way to end this show right well because it you know it's sad to see it end at all 100 <laughs> percent. but i think the way jeff our showrunner ended it was really really great i think yeah. a lot of fans will be really happy to be honest yeah and i mean we just have to talk about the fans for a second because the fans yeah. are the reason that it's it's still 100%. still around i mean were you surprised was the was the whole cast surprised that it was coming back that that the fans dedication really yeah i mean we like there's this whole crazy story about how we even got on netflix it was a mistake. Well, I, from our point of view, it was a mistake. Like, we did not think we were finishing. Yeah. We were told no one wanted to help us finish. Uh, and then all of a sudden, one day, we were on Netflix, and it just kind of snowballed like, from there. And the fan support, yeah, it was. It was completely, like, I thought we weren't finishing this, and then we were on Netflix, and it was in the top ten. And it was just, it was a shock for us to see that, but it was a shock for us to be able to come back and finish yeah. it here. Yeah, what a, what a like, yeah. a... a, a, a beautiful ending then to this story yeah. for you yeah. to be able to finish the story. What is? What do you think is going to be the hard, hardest part of leaving this job? I mean, I've said it so many times. We're a family now. Like, we've spent five years together. We worked through COVID together. Like, yeah. we know each other a, a little too well at this point. So <laughs> saying goodbye to seeing those people every single day is probably going to be the hardest part. Yeah. yeah. Well, you have another project to talk about, too. Tell us about Mind Cage. You play a detective in this as well, yes? I do. I've, I've uh, hit my uh, theme, I suppose. But, <laughs> yeah. Um, no, I You're got a very <laughs> convincing detective. Um, I got to work with John Malkovich and Martin Lawrence, and that was really, really fun. Um, so that was... Yeah, and it comes, I actually forget when it comes out, so I apologize, <laughs> but um, yeah, I got to do that on, on the hiatus, and um, I had a lot of fun doing that. Yeah, and now do you feel like in your real life, you're like, I'm going to figure that mystery out. I'm oh, like, no, an amazing I'm, detective now. I am mysteried out. Anything that needs solving, I'm like, refer to someone else. I've, <laughs> I've solved everything now. Yeah. yeah. So in... in in uh, retrospect, do you think that all the kids or all the fans that have loved this show for so long will be happy with how it ends and, and there will be closure for everybody? I think that's the perp there's closure. There's so much closure at the end of the show that I don't think, even if it isn't quite the way you wanted it to end, you will still be happy with aspects of it because there are so many moving pieces still. Um, but I'm really happy, and yeah. so I hope everyone else is really happy, too. Yeah, I'm sure they will yeah. be. At least we get to see it end yeah. the right way. All right, well, you can catch Manifest on Netflix tomorrow.